Okay friend, it's time to get started on replacing our front coil springs. Something I want to mention is whenever you're replacing one spring, you do them as a pair. I'm going to show you how to do one side, you'll do the exact same thing on the other. Now of course you're going to want to safely raise and support the front of the vehicle so the wheels off the ground and the suspension is able to hang low. We'll continue on by removing all five of our 19 millimeter lug nuts and then the wheel. Now that we have the wheel off of there, we have a nice clear view of our front coil spring. To start removing this, we're gonna have to remove several other things. Let's move down under here. You're gonna find that you have a bracket that holds your flex hose and your ABS wire to the front differential tube. Let's use a 10 millimeter to remove that bolt. We'll just give that bolt a quick inspection. Now let's set that flex hose aside and we'll move along to the sway bar itself. You want to go ahead and follow that to where it connects onto the frame. This is your sway bar bushings. We need to remove this bracket. For that, there's going to be two 16 millimeter headed bolts for each of these. Let's go ahead and remove all four bolts. Once you have both sides of that sway bar loosened, let's make our way over to the shock area here. You can see where the shock makes its way down and it connects onto the front differential tube. We're going to have to remove the bolt that comes through from the inside towards the outside. To remove this, I'll hold the inside with an 18 millimeter wrench and remove the nut with an 18 millimeter socket. Before you go ahead and take this out, make sure you apply a little bit of pressure underneath your differential. I'll use a hammer and punch, try to drive this out of here. If that doesn't work, go ahead and take your nut, put it back on there a couple threads. Now we'll just give it a couple loving bonks with our hammer, being very careful not to damage anything. Let's give those a quick inspection. You can set those aside. Let's go ahead and grab onto that shock. We're gonna give this a little wiggle. Now we can grab onto the flex hose and we'll make sure that we pull it out of the position where it might potentially get caught on something. Now let's move along to lowering the front differential a little bit. As we do this, you wanna be paying attention to the coil spring. It might either wanna separate down along the bottom or even along the top. Once again, you're making sure that you're putting no pressure on your flex hose or your ABS wire. Very important. Just give this a little wiggle. Let's go ahead and carefully pull this right out of the vehicle. There it is, friends. Now that we have it out of there, before we go ahead and put in our brand new spring assembly, you want to of course compare it to the new spring assembly. You want to make sure it has the same amount of coils, they're the same thickness, and of course they're the same height overall. Let's have a look at the top rubber bushing here. As I feel my fingers along it, I can feel that the groove ends right here. I marked it in a crayon. Now that's super important to pay attention to because that's where the end of the spring needs to go to. Let's also have a look at the differential tube down along the bottom where the spring's supposed to sit. If you were to look at this, you can tell that the spring's going to come right around, and then you can see that there's a slot where the end of the spring needs to be. It needs to fit right there. I marked that in crayon as well. 
Now with all that said, go ahead and clean these areas, give them a thorough inspection, and now we can put in our spring. To put the spring in, you want to make sure you have it in this orientation. You can see I have the smaller area of the spring facing towards the top. The larger hole is going to be facing down near the bottom at the differential tube. Let's go ahead and carefully take this and we're going to put it right over the jaunts bumper. As we start putting in position, you also want to make sure that you have the spring lined up with where it needs to go. Like I said, I marked it in crayon. Now I'm just going to go ahead and start pushing down on this differential till we can get this in place. All right, let's apply a little bit of pressure on this. As we're doing it, make sure you line up the spring with the differential and the top rubber mount. All right, so as we're bringing it up, we're just double checking to make sure it's completely lined up. Now, as we bring it up, you wanna pay attention to the shock and then the area of the differential tube that it needs to line up with. You can tell that this needs to come up quite a bit. But you also want to pay attention to the flex hose and the ABS wire. Of course, you don't want to damage them in any way, so we just want to go ahead and make sure we put them aside like this. Let's get this flex hose bracket back into position. If you were to look at this side, you can tell it has a little hook. That hook needs to line up with this hole inside the bracket on the differential tube. After that, just go ahead and swing it over and line up the bolt hole as well. This area is gonna slide right behind the differential tube. Let's start in that mounting bolt. Snug that up. Make sure it's secure. Let's move along to the shock. Now we're just gonna go ahead and take this and we'll put it in position. It's pretty common that you're gonna need to go ahead and lift this differential up until you can line up that bolt hole. Once you do, go ahead and take the bolt from the inside and bring it right on out and through. Apply a little bit of red thread locker, snug it up, and then torque it to 72 foot pounds. Now at this point, it's a good time to pause and do the exact same procedure to the other side of the vehicle for replacing the coil spring. After you have that coil spring done as well, make your way back over to the sway bar. We're gonna put that back up against the frame and then we'll tighten it up. Sometimes you just have to raise the differential a little bit to get everything to line up. Once it feels though it's pretty good, go ahead and start in both of your mounting bolts. Now that we have both of these started in, let's continue on by doing the exact same thing on the other side, then we can snug them up. Once you have both sides of the bracket started, go ahead and snug these up, and then we're gonna torque each of these mounting bolts to 45 foot-pounds. Obviously do the same on the other side of the Jeep. Now we can go ahead and get our wheel back up on here. Start on all five of your 19 millimeter lug nuts, bottom them out, and then when we get the wheel back on the ground, we'll go ahead and torque each of them to 122 foot pounds.
torqued. Okay friends, I showed you how to install one of the front coil springs. Like I told you before in the video, you need to make sure you do these as a pair. The process for the other side of the vehicle will be the exact same thing. Once you've got it back on the ground and you finish torquing the wheels, go ahead and take it for a road test. Make sure you don't hear any funny noises and get yourself safely down to your local alignment shop. Thank you for watching.